So here's version 1.2, which I wasn't even going to do. But with the release of Unreal Engine 4.11, there were a couple of good reasons to do so. First is the fact that this was a major update, with an insane amount of content. And a lot of it had to do with increases in efficiency, so compiling a new version should give a performance boost. Second, it now uses Oculus Runtime 1.3 for VR, which is the latest version created for the release of the Rift. I have a DK2, which is still supported, but there's a risk of it becoming unsupported in future runtime versions. So, it follows that this may also be true for Unreal Engine. That made this a sensible time to do an update, and it also gave me an excuse to add a couple of features that I had thought about earlier, but didn't bother with in order to keep things simple. The original Tetris lets you see what block is coming next, so I've implemented the same thing here, though it required a lot of changes. Gone are the old block types at the side, with the cube start locations, rotations and cube colours. Now the cube start locations are generated through this macro, so they can be used for both the current block and the next block indicator. The rotations value is set up here before the next block is picked and the colours of the spawning block and the next block are referred to here and over here in the extended block start timeline section. The previous versions simply selected block types at random, but now I have created a system which keeps track of how often each block type has been picked compared to the others. Types that have been picked a lot have a higher chance of not being picked again, causing the random selection to restart. The amount of randomness is controlled by this variable. Low values keep block variety strictly equalised, while higher values allow for more randomness. <laughs> 